What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and to another tier list. We are going to be doing a free player, free to play tier list, right? Now this is not going to be GP players. We have one or two and we've made a couple of exceptions like Barrios is in there. We also have free Lorente I think in there as well. And we have a couple of more that are probably you can get for GP or that their cards, their GP cards such as Bellingham and Camavinga are very similar to the cards that are on here. So for the likes of Mar Marquinhos, Marquinhos' card, his GP card, is probably about 90% to what this card is, or 95%, right? If you guys want me to do a GP-only tier list, smash that like button, 150 likes, and we will do that, or get in touch in the comments as well, and let me know that you guys want to see it, right? So we've got 50 players here, ranging from the free players from, like, way back when, You've got a couple of GP players, uh, Bellingham, Griezmann. You've got the new Saliba, the new Rudiger, the new Beckenbauer, Rashford, Modric, and Davies. So we're going to be rating these from S to D. Free-to-play GOAT is going to be the ultimate tier and the ultimate winner of this tier list of where they rank in. And then D all the way, A, B, C, D down in quality, okay? So I'm not going to draw this out. I'm not going to make it more complicated than it needs to be. If you have a disagreement, please do get in touch in the comments below. And a lot of this is based on players that I've struggled against, that I've played with myself. I've played a lot of the game, as you guys know. And where these guys stand on this list. So, for example, if you're comparing, you know, this Rashford, right, on this list, Rashford is going to be fairly high on the list because of his stats, his skills, his potential, right? And the fact that he's a free card, so he gets bonuses for that if you do spin him. And I do feel that if you were to throw this Rashford card into even the GP tier list... There, he might have a different rating. He mightn't even be as good as standard Mbappe, Lautaro Martinez, any of those guys, right? So it's it, it's kind of in a vacuum, right? So we're going to start, we're going to kick off, and we're going to go straight into it, starting with D, and then we'll jump to A, then we'll go back to B and C, and then go to the GOAT tier, right? So if you have any disagreements, please do get in touch in the comments below, right? We're going to kick off, I think, with probably, I won't say the worst players on this card, but I don't really feel that these guys need much, um, you know, we don't need to complain too much about them, right? So I'm going to start with Harry Kane, Fermin Lopez, Goretzka. I'm also going to pro throw in Griezmann in there, and I'm probably going to throw in Bruno. Now, you might say, oh, Griezmann is a beast. This Griezmann card was absolutely insane. Okay, we'll put him into C for now, because I do feel like I have struggled against that Griezmann card once or twice compared to other players on this. Savage is also going to go in there, and even though Kobel, the free guy, is only the only goalkeeper on this list, I definitely think, you know, standard GP Donnarumma, standard GP Courtois, standard GP Oblak, way better than this free Kobel even, right, or this Kobel player. Um, and I definitely think that that's one that you'd probably want to not waste training points on. I'm sure that you'll have, you know, people say, oh, I had him, he's a beast, he's this, he's that. Everyone's going to have different, you know, uh, kind of experiences with their with their cards and different cards, similar to me with color. Um, so yeah, that is basically where we're going to go with that, right? I also feel as well that there is a kind of a clear distinction between some of the really good cards on this, such as Bellingham, but with new, with new cards that have come out, I think sometimes the gameplay has kind of left these guys behind. What I mean by that is, right, I'm going to throw into C tier. I'm going to throw in Garnacho. I'm also going to probably throw in Kubo, Daku. Well, no, we'll put Daku into B for the time being. I'm kind of all over the place. But we're going to throw in Javi Simmons. We're also going to throw in, I would say... I think we'll throw in this messy card into B as well, just to kind of round that off. But I do feel the rest of these cards here, I'm going to throw into B, are going to be these boys here, okay? We're going to throw Ben White in there. I know I'm all over the place already, lads. Okafor is going to go in there. The ball is going to go in there. The left back Arhan is going to go in there. We're also going to throw in Hoyland and Inzaghi. And I also feel if, you know, Kane and Inzaghi are very similar, obviously Hoyland the same, Hoyland has actually got a good blend of speed and power, um, but I definitely feel that he's been left behind with where the gameplay has gone at the moment. I'm also probably going to, and slightly controversially, I think I'm going to put Musa into the C tier as well, boys, right? There's no limit on what players I'm going to put in there or not, um, but looking at the rest of these cards... I think that, like, there is a lot of cards in here that can do a job for you, especially, like, when the gameplay gets slightly less aggressive. But currently, at the moment, it's all about getting rid of the ball as soon as you can possibly get it. Odegaard probably gets a bit shortchanged here, being in the C tier. But out wide, Garnacho, Kubo, Xavi, any of these guys that are kind of out wide players, 
they are kind of a little bit wasted with the current gameplay. That could change and we could revisit this tier list and actually say, listen, Garnacho's been beasting for me lately. Doku is definitely up into the A tier now because I know some people really rate him and they really, really do like those kind of out wild players. But for me, I don't feel at this stage in the game that a lot of these players actually you know, win you games, right? Daku could move from a B to an A if they make a couple of adjustments to the actual game itself, right? I think it's going to be more about kind of like the A's and the B's um, kind of being the most, and then who's going to be an S tier is going to be the real standout performers, right? I think also as well, there isn't that many people using uh, Barrios anymore, so I'll pop him into C. Uh, even though he's still a brilliant GP player, he is an absolute beast, but there are better DMFs here. I think I'll also probably put Albert Ferrer in here. I think right backs now at the moment, there's just so many end game level right backs at the moment that even if you haven't really tried to get like a, a top class, you know, right back, um, you will probably have one or two. If you're a brand new player and you 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 were able to get fair, you won't be able to get fair. But if you did have him, you'll probably either think he's a B or a C. I think he's definitely probably a B. But for the tier list, I think I will throw him into C. <sighs> Actually, no, I'll put him into B because he's never let me down on my free to play, right? Moving on to the rest of the cards, I'm put, gonna put Ronaldo into B as well. I think him and Messi are always gonna be kind of a joint at the hip there. Um, I also think that I'm probably gonna pop in Modric. Mm, we'll leave Modric for a time being, right? Because Neymar has been, I think Neymar has been nerfed a little bit. And I feel like with the rest of the cards that you have on here, these are all now gonna be pushing for the top kind of tier, right? I also feel that because Classic number 10 has been slightly nerfed a little bit, I'm going to put Odegaard and Gundo there. Even though I really rate Gundo, he's a brilliant box-to-box -box style Classic number 10 attacking-wise, I definitely feel on this list there is better options there than him because of this, right? So that kind of makes the B um, be able to be rounded off very nicely. And I will probably finish by putting, just simply because, this is tough, I'm going to put Jimenez in there as a destroyer. Reason being, because Beckenbauer, Costa Corta, and Rudiger and Saliba have all been added to this list from the last one with new cards, right? And I feel like because they're guaranteed that you can get them, like we'll talk about Saliba in a second and where we rank him, I definitely feel that he's going to struggle to get up past the B, right? Now moving on, Mbappe, I'm going to probably put Mbappe into B as well. Probably actually A. This Mbappe card that they released, I think that they kind of like released such a, de a demon card. I actually might put him into go tier. We'll see in a second. But am I happy enough with B, C, and D? Hmm, let me see. I definitely think looking at this here, Kamavinga, Jack Wilshire, uh, Free, Declan Rice, and Rodri, I definitely think they're the picks of it. A lot of people like this Kimmich card. Um, I would probably put Labaka into B. And I will also probably put San Krasen into B as well. Now, I had Neymar as an S tier before, but Neymar has definitely been nerfed 100%. Now, I would actually be tempted to still put Neymar into A, but he could slip into B, lads. He actually could slip into the Bs. Let me just bring up this screen a little bit here. Um, he could slip into the B tier because he definitely has been nerfed. I would probably put Kamavinga into A tier as well. A lot of people back using Kamavinga, different versions of him, obviously. And I also would probably put uh, these boys in here. Modric and, of course, Bellingham as well as Barella. Any version of Barella, lads, it doesn't matter. This is just the card we're using is a beast. Delict, I definitely feel Delict has slipped up a little bit. He's still a good card. But he's not in the category now of Costa Corta. And even Marquinhos, I think, is still a fantastic card, right? And that kind of makes our makes our path here a bit a bit more easier because we are or easily because we are going to probably pop the lick into A just to kind of round that off. I think that's probably where we need to put him. Um I could actually no, do you know what I'll do? I'll probably pop Ben White there and I'll probably pop uh Delict here. It'll still be at the high point of the B, just to kind of differentiate a little bit between the S and the A. Now, for the S and the A's here, right, I think that there's only going to be probably like six bona fide, um, kind of like, I would say gold versions of the cards, because I do feel that a lot of people are being very harsh on Beckenbauer. A lot of people saying that Beckenbauer isn't a fantastic card. I mean, Beckenbauer is one of the most unique cards in the game. I, like, I definitely think that he's more used as a kind of a, a possession-based centre-back. If you're looking for pure power, pace, and destroyer-type defenders, I wouldn't play Beckenbauer. He's too small, he's not physical enough. But for a purest possession, building from the back-style play style, you can really, really destroy and dominate with possession 
if you're a fantastic player in his card. Does the game reward you for it? Not often. But you can do it against top class players. Every time I've beaten a top ranked player, whether it was last stream beating a top 100 guy, beating a top 20 guy a couple of streams back, it's always been because I've controlled the play and not played, you know, gung-ho, uh, end-to-end style play. If we're going putting Beckenbauer in there, I definitely feel like we have to put Costa Corta. I think Costa Corta is probably one of the best cards that they have released ever um, as a freebie, right? Neymar has been nerfed. I think Costa Corta is now the best one. He's just unbelievable. You can't pass him. You just literally cannot pass him half the time. Anytime I play against Costa Corta or this man here who's going to go straight into F2 uh, free-to-play gold S tier as well, Rudiger, I struggle. I know I'm in for a really, really tough game. Now, this is where it's going to get slightly interesting, right? I'm probably going to pop Lorente in here because it is the GP version of him. There is different versions of Marcus Lorente. I think he's one of the most complete box-to-box -box in the game. But I don't think that he's miles ahead of any of the rest of the players on here. Even Goretzka. You know, Goretzka, depending on, you know, what version of him you have. Specifically this card, I think this Goretzka card, the freebie, wasn't that good. But the rest of the cards that you have in here, Limer, there isn't much between him and uh, Lorente. So that's kind of probably why he falls down a little bit. I'm also probably going to pop Kimi into A tier. And this is going to be a little bit controversial, lads. I think Hernandez goes in there as well. And I'm also going to probably pop in Declan Rice. Declan Rice, I think, has been nerfed. I don't know if you guys agree with me or disagree with me. And I'm open to, you know, debate, right? Um, I haven't really struggled against Declan Rice. I think Zakaria, this version of Zakaria, a lot of people really rate that card. Now, I'm probably going to pop him in to uh, A tier here. But him, Kamavinga, and Bellingham could very easily go into S tier. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that they could go into S tier. And we will revisit that. Um, Jack Wilshire, I think definitely... Actually, do you know what I'm going to do, boys? I am actually going to put Bellingham into S tier because he was definitely one of the best free cars in the game that you could ever get. Depending on if you were a big fan of Kamavinga or Bellingham, you could have either or both in the S tier. That's going to be down to you. I have definitely played more with Kamavinga or with Bellingham than Kamavinga. I don't really struggle against Kamavinga as much as Bellingham, but he's definitely a fantastic card. Now, Saliba as well. So you might be saying, how is Saliba free? He's not a free card. Saliba costs 250 coins currently at the time of the recording on this video. You can save that up within the month and get Saliba for free. But because he's not a 100% free card, and because I still feel he is a little bit um, weakened in the last few week, in the last few days, I'm actually going to pop him in to A. Now, this would mean that like we're going to have a bit of a knock-on effect there, because if I'm popping Saliba into an A tier, and he's not going into the gold tier, I think I'm actually going to probably pop down Kimmich, down into B. Again, that's slightly controversial, you could leave it in A if you wanted to, and if I pop him down, I think I'm actually going to pop down Marcus Lorente as well, just to make a bit of a differentiation between the cards, right? I know we're splitting hairs, but it's what we do, man. We, we, we do overcomplicate things. We've got four gold players in here. We are going to pop in Maradona in here. And I'm also going to pop in, I think... I think I'm going to pop in Rodri in here, boys. I think Rodri, especially this club icon uh, moment of Rodri, is one of the best cards they've ever released as well. Maradona, I think, has been massively buffed. I don't know if you guys have gone back and tried him, but with, with special specific builds, Maradona is just unbelievable dribbler in the game. One of the best. I would be tempted, I think, to put uh, Jack Wilshire in here. Honestly, I think Wilshire is going to be the main guy um, for me on my free-to-play squad going forward. But I'm going to be fair because I haven't put Barella or Modric or Kamavinga or Saliba into S tier. I'm going to pop Wilshire here. Now, I'm going to show you why I think he's S tier with a review I'm going to be doing on him that I've been working on for a while. But I definitely feel he slots in somewhere around here. And that's going to leave us with Marquinhos, who's going to go into the S tier. Now, this is going to be a hard one, really, to stand over, because I feel like, though, especially with free-to-play players, there's a, everyone has a different type of card. I mean, I know some people that are tearing it up with Okafor, that he would be an A card. I know people that would say Saliba's going to be into the S tier. I know people that are saying that Barella's S tier, any version of him, Hernandez. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to end the video there. How right or wrong am I? Do you agree with some of them, all of them, or none of them? Let me know. I mean, we can split hairs all day, and you could say, yeah, you know, Mbappe should be S tier, this, that. I feel like now with the gameplay the way it is at the moment, like judging these cards strictly on the other 50 players in here, I think, you know, this is kind of where I would go with this list. There are going to be exceptions to the rule, 
but let me know. And if you guys do want a GP only tier list, get in touch in the comments below. Smash that like button, 150 likes, and we will get banging that out. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.